over here, y'all. What's good? What's good? Oops. The D would be your boy, that boy, that boy, checking in with y'all, man. On a uh, Saturday morning. Thank God for another one. Um, You know, I'm here to talk about a video. You know, I mean, to drop another video. Drop a video. Been a couple weeks, man. You know, I've been busy working, doing what I got to do, man, you know. But I ain't forget about y'all, man. Shout out to all of the, you know what I'm saying, the YouTube family, the ones that been supporting me. I'm not going nowhere. I'm here, y'all. But, uh, you know, today had a couple of days off. So I'm here to, you know what I'm saying, definitely represent and talk about the things we need to talk about. You know what I'm saying? But that being said, situation right now I want to talk about is uh, about two days ago, rapper Dave East was arrested in NYC in Queens. For what reason, I really don't know. But I feel like he's been getting, feel like he's been harassed because you know what? His brother it was very, very close to Nipsey Hussle. So his mind frame is like the same type of mind frame that, you know, Nipsey's on. You know what I'm saying? About empowering the people and doing certain things and, and he giving. And he doing a lot of different things. And he done fell away, fell back from a lot of them devils in the industry. You understand what I'm saying? The Jay-Z's of the world and the Puff Daddies of the world. And, you know, he's not probably paying enough homage. And now they probably feel like he's not, you know... You know, you know, living up to the, you know, the contract or whatever he's supposed to be doing. I know he signed with Nas or something like that. You know, Nas with them people, man. But anyway, I didn't have any, any, any I didn't get any updates yet on him, but I'm sure he probably bonded out. But, I mean, just been harassed, man, in the last few, the last couple months been serious on black people, period, man. A lot of black people been going through a lot of things, man. You know, it don't change the narrative on us. Saying that we the one with the corona now, people acting crazy around us, you know, acting like we can't stand near them, and there's all types of stuff going on. But see, that's the way they create the narrative, man, to change the narrative, you know what I'm saying? So everybody could be against each other, man. It's really a game that they playing. They playing a game to try to destroy us, to make us, you know, fall away from each other, man. You know, we got to stay focused. We got to stay you know what I'm saying, grind it. We got to understand that we're against all odds. You know what I'm saying? Let's speak it to the people, man. But anyway, Dave East, man, you know, he had his hands up. He came about the SUV. You know, they want to jack him up and throw him all the way around. But the guy was very calm and cool. Something about her, one of his friend girls, somebody in the background telling him, chill, you know, you got to go to a funeral in the morning. So it was like kind of crazy, you know what I'm saying? I don't know who died or what happened. But I guess he had to, you know, you know, attend and pay his respects the next day. And, you know, his friend or whoever his social was, they were telling him just calm down. Just, I mean, just chill. You know, don't let it, you know, rock you. Blah, 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 blah. Which is a good thing to have somebody by you to guide you, man, when these types of type of situations happen. Because you angry at the time, man. It's a lot going on, man. I got so many videos, y'all, to really catch up with y'all, man. It's It's crazy right now. But I'm definitely trying to get two of them in today, at least three. You know what I'm saying? But right now, I just got up a couple hours ago. Body shut down, man. I came in yesterday early. I was tired. But the whole narrative is just, I'm just going to get down to the nitty gritty, though. It's like, you know, us as black people, man, we can't do nothing no more, man. And I ain't going to lie. New York is like a communist state, man. All y'all rappers, what do you think? The French Montanas and the few of them dudes down here, man, they not up there in New York, New York is a hot city, man, them people on some other shit, man, you feel me, so I just want to know if anybody out there got a little new information on Davies, you know what I'm saying, whereabouts, it, Diddy Bond, y'all please let me know, man, y'all let me know, it, you know, I want to know the brother I write, man, cool brother, man, real cool brother, I've been vibing him with him, you know what I'm saying, a little bit, you know, when I first heard about him, you know, he got a nice flow, you know what I'm saying, he got a nice gesture about himself, and I just think the NYPD just jealous of him. They wanted to do more to him, but people was around, and he did follow suit, did what he had to do, hold his hands up, and went on in. You know what I'm saying? It's just sick, but they take you take you through, man, just, you know, for being black, man. You know what I'm saying? Just harassing. But New York been harassing people heavy. New York has been beating guys, black guys, for not social distancing. There's a lot going on in NYC, man. NYC's a nasty nasty corrupted city man the police is corrupted i don't give a damn what nobody say new york is a corrupted police force 
straight up, bro. You black. You black, they don't like you, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, they don't like you, bro. And um, it's just like that. It's just like that, man. I don't know what's going on. You know, why they got so much against black people. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, man. You know, y'all y'all gooping on some other shit, man. You know, but deep down, I know what it is, you know. You know, we've been hated, man, for centuries, man. This shit ain't just started. You know, we got to understand that. None of these people like us, man. None of these people ain't now race like blacks, bro. We the most hated in every race, and that's scary, bro. We the most hated out of every race, bro. I mean, and every race hate us. That's crazy, bro. Every race, you know, not everybody's races now, but down there, every race got something against black. Even Chinese don't like black, yo. You know what I'm saying? That's why I try not to support them over here. And, you know, they might keep, keep laughing in your face, but deep down, dog, them crackers don't care nothing about us, man. Period, bro. So what we got to do, learn how to change the narrative and say, hey, man, start shopping with them and shop with our own people, bro. Start shopping with them people. Start spending money with them people. Keep spending money with them people, bro. They know what I'm saying? They gonna do the fuck they wanna do to us, man. And they gonna keep doing it, bro. Cause the first thing they feel like you need them. We don't need them. We need more black uh, salons, more black hairdressers. And not working for them. We need our own shit, bro. Start spending money with them people. Cause they don't fuck with us. You know what I'm saying? They don't fuck with us, bro. They're against us, man, you know? So we need to start fucking with them period, bro. On God. You know what I'm saying? So what we gotta do is change the narrative and, and have and do I have our own businesses going into the new 2020 21 and pray up, stay focused, keep your eyes on the prize. There's so much going on. You know what I'm saying? From the corona to the killing of the young brother in Georgia. There's just so much been going on, man, in these last few months, bro. Beating guys, uh, shooting guys, so much going on, man. I say so many videos. I've been, I'm like, damn, I've been working so many hours. I'm like, yo, I can't even draw videos, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's how fast this shit been coming, dog. You know, but um, uh, we gotta change the narrative, man. Control the narrative, man. Stop shopping with them people, man. Stop spending your money with these people, man. I mean, car cages and all, man. They ain't gonna show no love to a nigga, dog, and respect us, bro. Don't give them your money. We work hard for our money. We do certain things for our money to get our money. Some people got to do something, keeping it real. Some people got to do some things for their money. No matter what you do is how you what you do is how you do it. But at the end of the day, you cannot let these people keep doing us the same, I mean, doing us the same type of way, treating us the same type of way and going back to their door, spending money with them, dog. We got to stop that. We got to stop that. So all y'all young black sisters and brothers out there, y'all quarantining, man, come up with a plan for a barber shop. Your own barber shop, you know what I'm saying? I got a little Chico right now. He cool, but if I can find me a black good barber, that's who I want to give my money to. You know what I'm saying? But we gotta change the narrative. We gotta all. Uh, we gotta do the right thing, man. We gotta. We we can't let these people keep getting away with this shit, bro. Period. This video is just about. Set, prep, set prep, preparation, man. We cannot let these people do what the fuck they want to do to us, man. And keep spending money with them. You know what I'm saying? Can't, bro. Stop. Let's spend that money. With the people that don't give a fuck about us, bro. Facts. I don't care what nobody say. Let them do what they want to do, bro. But the same thing with the Davies. New York PD, man. No one riding out with y'all. Them people don't care nothing about us, man. You know, NYC. A lot of y'all up there. I've never been there. I wanted to come now, but... I think I might change my mind on that, y'all. New York, like, they, they hate it. The most 
crooked, nasty cops I ever seen in my life, bro. The way they do people in New York City. <laughs> Excuse me. Really, the way they treat black people in New York City. Uh, you know, that's a city I don't want to go to, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't going to hold y'all too long. Like I say, man, I'm trying to get two videos in. Might come back later. When I'm, you know, pipe down a little bit more. I just got up. You know, I just want to get that off my chest about Davies. You know what I'm saying? A rapper from NYC. You know what I'm saying? Uh, harass for no reason, man. New York. NYC is a very, very crazy city, man. And those police is very hateful. So they be your boy, that boy, that, that boy, 305. Check it in with y'all. Subscribe to the video. Check my last video. Share the video. Let me subscribe me. Share the video. Sh holler at the kid. <coughs> <coughs> Let me know how y'all feel about this shit. <coughs> Damn. Get the weed. At why New York is doing the people the way they treat, I mean, treating black people the way they treat people from all these years. And all you rappers that conscious and know your shit, get the fuck out of New York, man. They don't want you there. Trust me, they don't want you there. <laughs>